Hi friends, we are meeting after a long time. Uh, somebody had asked me to do problems on straight lines. Right? Straight lines. We have already done these problems in engineering mathematics on straight lines. You will get three problems here. One for three marks, one for five marks and one for six marks. Totally there will be 14 marks in straight line, from straight line. Now, I have a few old question papers that is from 16 to 19 I have. I think these papers I have done 16, 17, I don't know whether I have done 18, but uh, 19 I think I, we have not done, 19, from 19 we have not done I think. So I am taking April, May 19 and October, November 19, two question papers, totally there will be six problems here. I will try to solve them now. You please go through it. Now from section A, April-May 2019, April-May 2019, 2019, section A, problem number 1. He says, find the equation of the straight line passing through 3, 2 and having a slope 5. So what is given is, uh, a line is there, a straight line is there, it is passing through a point 3, 2, 3, 2 and this is passing through that point and the slope is 5. Now, <clears throat> this problem is for 3 marks. In section A, all problems will be for 3 marks. You know. So, this given point is x1, y1 and this is what we call m. Slope is taken as, slope of a straight line is taken as m. m is 5, x1, y1 is 3, 2 and he says write the equation to the straight line. You know, here because I know the slope and I know one point on the straight line or one point through which this line is passing, I have to write in slope point form. Slope point form of equation to a straight line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This is the, uh, this, this is called slope point formula, slope point equation, slope point equation to a straight line. Whenever we know the slope of a straight line and one point through which that point is passing, that line is passing through, we have to write it in this form. So y will be y only minus y1, y1 in this problem is 2, so y minus 2 is equal to, m is given as 5, into x minus x1 is 3. So this has to be substituted, we have to substitute for m, x1, y1 here, keep x, y as it is. Now simplify it, y minus 2 is equal to 5x minus 15, right? Now this is to be brought to a standard form. In standard form, first we must have x term. So here I am getting 5x. Here no x is there. Here I have got 5x. And this is positive. Since it is positive, send this that side. So that side you have 5x. This y, if you send that side, it will be minus y. This minus 15 is on this side, so it will be minus 15 only. This minus 2 is to go that side, so it will be plus 2 is equal to 0. On this side nothing will be there. So that is equal to 0. Or 5x minus y minus 13 minus 15 plus 2 is minus 13 is equal to 0. This is the answer. This is the equation to a straight line which is having a slope of 5 and passing through the point 3, 2. So that is the problem that gets, gets you six, uh, 3 marks. This is of April, May 2019. Next problem from the same paper, I will take from section B, a 5 mark problem. This is a 5 marks problem. So I will take it. Now, <coughs> section B, problem number 15. Section B, problem number 15. The paper is April, May 2019 examination question paper. So section B, question number is 15. Here he says, 
find the equation of the line passing through the point 1 2 it is passing through the point 1 2 and parallel to and parallel to 4x minus 3y 4x minus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 so this is the problem we have a straight line which is passing through the point 1 2 and one more information which is given is it is parallel to another line who, whose equation is 4x minus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 now here also here also we have to write it in this form only uh, sorry y minus y1 slope point form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 this is the form in which it is to be written so this is x1 y1 it is given but slope is not directly given slope is not directly given it is give it is said that the line whose equation we want is parallel to 4x minus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 now the slope of a line slope of uh, 4x minus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 is is minus minus a by b minus a by b now in this equation a is 4 a is the coefficient of x it is 4 b is minus 3 coefficient of y and c is 5 that is constant quantity so i have to find out so that will be equal to m will be equal to minus a a is 4 by minus 3 so it will be plus 4 by 3 now since these two lines this the slope of this line is 4 by 3 so the slope of this line also will be 4 by 3 because they are parallel to each other so now i know the slope i also know the point so now y minus y1 y1 will be 2 is equal to m m is 4 by 3 into x minus 2 x minus x1 x1 is 1 sorry x1 is 1 write it uh, what i have done is i have substituted for y1 x1 and m these are the values y1 is 2 x1 is 1 and m is 4 by 3 i have substituted those values now 3 you send it this size y minus 2 is equal to 4 into x minus 1 so 3y minus 6 is equal to 4x minus 4 now x is positive here so we have to send them this side that side 4x minus 3y minus 4 plus 6 is equal to 0 or 4x minus 3y plus 2 6 minus 4 is 2 is equal to 0 this is the equation of the line required and it carries 5 marks it's a 5 mark question next in section c you have question number 26 section c question number 26 we have another problem find the equation to the perpendicular bisector find the equation to the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the points find the equation to a straight line perpendicular to uh, sorry perpend find the equation to the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the points 6 8 and and 4 2 here we have a line we have a line straight line one end is 6 8 anyone you can take a 6 8 the other end is 4 2 now i'll call this as pq some name a b p q something like that now he wants us to write the equation to a 
to the perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector means it is at right angles to this. It is perpendicular. This line is this is called perpendicular bisector. If it is perpendicular to this and it is passing through the midpoint, it is dividing PQ in the ratio one is to one. This point I will call that point as uh, something like A. Now A is the midpoint of these two points. So its coordinates will be 6 plus 4 divided by 2 that is 5 x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and 8 plus 2 10 10 by 2 that is also 5 10 by 5 10 by 2 10 by 2 5 5 it is passing through the point 5 5 and it is <coughs> sorry it is perpendicular to the line PQ. So now what I will do is slope of slope of PQ PQ will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. You can take any one as x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 x2 y2. Now y2 minus y1 2 minus 8 2 minus 8 divided by x2 minus x1 4 minus 6 4 minus 6 2 minus 8 is minus 6 4 minus 6 is minus 2 so minus minus will get cancelled plus 2 ones are 2 2 threes are so the slope of this line slope of pq is 3 by uh, plus 3 now, slope of, let me call this as L, uh, Lm, this is Lm, this is the perpendicular bisector of this line. Slope of Mn will be equal to minus 1 big by slope of Pq because it is perpendicular. A slope of Mn into slope of Pq will be minus 1, you know. If two straight lines are perpendicular to each other, the product of their slopes will be minus 1. So it will be minus 1 divided by 3. This is the slope. Now I know the slope of this line. It is m is equal to minus 1 by 3. I am I know one point through which it is passing. Now I will take this as x1, y1. Now Slope of, uh, sorry, equation to Mn, equation to Mn will be of the form uh, y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This is the point, slope point formula again. Because we know one point on the, through which the line is passing and we know its slope. So y minus y1, y1 is 5 is equal to minus 1 by 3 into x minus x1 is also 5. Now this 3 if I send it that side this side 3 into y minus 5 is equal to minus 1 into x minus 5. So 3y minus 15 is equal to minus x plus 5 minus into minus plus 5. Now here x is minus, so I will take it this side, x plus 3y, this is staying here only, plus 3y minus 15, it is also staying here only. This 5 is coming this side, so it will become minus 5 is equal to 0. So x plus 3y, x plus 3y minus 20 is equal to 0, this will fetch you 6 marks. This will fetch you 6 marks. Right, this is a 6 marks question. Okay, next I will take up uh, October, November 2019. October, November 2019. Again, it is similar problem. October instead of April, November, it is October, November 
2019. Again, section A. The very first problem will be from the straight line. Find the equation of the line passing through the point 2 minus 3 and slope and slope 3. Let the values change. Otherwise, the problem in April, May also it was same. It is also same. The values are different. That's all. So this is x1, y1, and this is m. Write the equation. So y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So y minus y1 is minus 3. So minus of minus 3 it becomes plus 3 is equal to m is given as 3 into x minus 2. So y plus 3 is equal to 3x minus 6 if you open that. This is positive here. So 3x minus y minus 3 minus 6 is equal to 0. So 3x minus y minus 9 is equal to 0. This is the answer. This is the equation to the straight line. So you get 3 marks there. Usual. Next section B of the same paper. Same question paper section B. Find the equation of the line passing through the point 3, 4 and parallel to 3x plus 4y is equal to 8. Hmm? Again similar section B. Problem number 6a he says. Only the question number has changed. Section B. 6a he says. Find the equation of the line passing through the point 3, 4. 3, 4. And parallel to the line. And parallel to the line. Uh, 3x plus 4y. 3x plus 4y is equal to 8 he says. Or minus 8 is equal to 0. If you write it in standard form, 3x plus 4y minus 8 is equal to 0. So the value of a here is 3, b is 4 plus 4 and c is minus 8. So now this is x1, y1 and slope will be slope of the line will be minus minus a by b that is minus 3 by 4 that's it because they are parallel that will be same minus 3 by 4 so again y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so y minus y1 is 4 is equal to m is minus 3 by 4 into x minus x1 is 3. So 4 will be sent this side. y minus 4 is equal to minus 3 into x minus 3. So 4y minus 16 is equal to minus 3x minus into minus plus 3, 3 is a 9. So now this is negative so it will come this side. 3x plus 4y minus 16 is here this is minus 9 if it comes this side 0 so 3x plus 4y plus 4y 3x plus 4y minus 25 is equal to 0 this is the answer it will fetch you 5 marks again the section c uh, it is the same. Section C, problem number 10A. Section C, problem number 10A. Section C, problem number 10A. Uh, find the equation to the line passing through 3 minus 2. One point on this line is given and perpendicular to the line joining the points 5, 2 and 7, 6. 5, 2 and 7, 6. 
76 perpendicular to this line perpendicular to the line joining 5 2 and 7 6 now this is x1 y1 again to find the slope what we have to do is we have to find the slope here slope of line joining the points 5 2 and 7 6 this is the points so we take one as x1 y1 and the other is x2 y2 and uh, uh, the formula is m is equal to uh, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so that is y2 is 6 minus 2 divided by 7 minus 5 x2 minus x1 is 6 minus 2 is 4 7 minus 5 is 2 so the yeah, slope of this line is 2 now slope of perpendicular line per line perpendicular to this perpendicular line will be equal to minus 1 by this 2 that is minus half this is m this is x1 by 1 you have to write the equation to the line y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 all similar problems uh, that is y minus y1 here, here minus 2 so it becomes plus 2 m is minus 1 by 2 into x minus x1 is 3 not this this is not the required what you by by is this so 2 into y plus 2 is equal to minus 1 into x minus 3 so 2y plus 4 is equal to minus 1 plus 3 minus x plus 3 minus x plus 3 minus into minus plus so this is minus x so it will be coming this side x plus 2y plus 4 minus 3 is equal to 0 so x plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 this is the answer this is the required equation it will fetch you 6 marks so this is how the problem is to be done uh, if you have any doubts or if you have any problems your own problems you can send it to me I can solve and send you right